Here's the problem. If a triangle has area 9 square units and is formed by the x-axis, the line x equals 1, and the line y equals mx minus 4 for negative m, what are the coordinates of the triangle's vertices? You might want to pause the video and give this a try yourself. Since we don't know exactly where the triangle is formed on the x-axis, I'll just label the leftmost vertice x, and since we don't know where the triangle is formed along the line x equals 1, I'll call that coordinate y. Since the area of the triangle is 9, and we know the area of any triangle is 1 half base times the height, we can say that 9 is 1 half the base, the base is the distance 1 minus x, the height is negative y in this case. Negative y because it's along the negative y axis. That is, 1 minus x times negative y is 18, or y times x minus 1 is 18. We also don't know the slope of this slanted line other than it's negative. However, this line does have a y-intercept of negative 4, and somewhere it has to intersect the line x equals 1. Thus, we have two different equations for the slope. One equation between the points x0 and 0, negative 4, and one equation from 0, negative 4 to 1, comma, y. Throw these into the formula for slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Both of these have to equal m. We would have minus 4 minus 0 over 0 minus x. This has to be the same as y minus negative 4 over 1 minus 0. Both of these are m, the slope of that line. We can clean this up a little bit. y plus 4 equals 4 over x. And multiplying both sides by x, we'd have xy plus 4x equals 4. Back to the equation with area, that equation was y times x minus 1 is 18, or xy minus y equals 18. We have two equations and two unknowns. We can solve this. Fortunately, these subtract very nicely. If we subtract the slope equation by the area equation, the xy term cancels out. We'd have 4x plus y is negative 14, or y is minus 4x minus 14. Now we've solved for y. Sub that back into the area equation. x times minus 4x minus 14 plus 4x is 4. Shuffling this around is a quadratic equation. We know how to solve this. Use the quadratic formula. In this case, x is going to be negative 2 and also minus 1 half. We can plug each of those x values back into either equation to find the corresponding y values of negative 6 and negative 12. Remember what these values represented. x was the value along the x-axis, y was the value along the line x equals 1. So our points were negative 2, 0, 1, 0, and 1, negative 6. That's one triangle with area 9 formed with these restrictions. And there's another triangle formed by x equals minus a half comma 0, 1, 0, and 1, negative 12. Both of these triangles satisfy these conditions. Were you able to figure it out? 